today we are going to go to Reptile Gardens. An another uh, freebie for our VIP pass. Yeah. going to include songbirds who like to dive bomb these guys and chase them away from their nests. Uh, now auger buzzards are very very lazy and will hardly ever fight back so we will often see them fleeing away from these smaller birds who are trying to beat them up. Well, a cutie. Uh, so to give you another idea of how great this eyesight is, if we put Rico here up on a goal post of a football field and put a newspaper on the other goal post which is a hundred yards away, uh, Rico would be able to read that fine print. Uh, now one cool thing about these guys is that they are monogamous, which means that once they find a bird that they like and that bird likes them back, they're going to stay together for over several years. And they're all Africa. And these guys are closer related to the peregrines uh, we do see here throughout South Dakota. Uh, these guys are a little bit different because their prey of choice is other birds. Can you guys hear me over here screaming? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but they will go for prey item as large as baby deer. Uh, they will use brute force and violence to kill their prey, relying on the crushing pressure of their feet. As a general rule of thumb, as that bird species gets bigger, that butt is a lot larger and the crushing pressure is much more intense. And then whip her head around and look over the other one. If we go back to those eyes again, those eyes are held in place by a bony ring, and she doesn't have the muscles to look up, down, left, and right. So she has to rotate at her neck in order to know what is going on all around her. Is there a bunny back there? Yes. <laughs> that would explain it. <laughs> um, how she's capable of doing that? <laughs> Good thing I have a leash on her. <laughs> They do vary in color quite a bit. You'll notice this one has almost no yellow on his tail. So some of these guys are going to be almost completely gray like this one, as well as some of them have about half of their body being a pretty bright yellow color. So it does depend from snake to snake a little bit. Oh, no. It's just a constriction. And now you aren't looking around. You don't like if I try to speak up again? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Oh, this is usually where the fun starts. I know. Come on. It's easy. Please don't bite me. Cannot truly inject their venom. Instead, they have enlarged fangs at the back of their mouth, and those fangs have channels and grooves that run down the sides. So what they're going to do is bite onto their prey, pull it in their mouth, and then they wait for the venom to run out of the gland, down the channels and grooves in the sides of those teeth, and from there into the wound of their prey. Now, so of course we do keep tons of anti-venom for every single one of our venomous snakes right here on the grounds. I'm not sure why, but it's on the other end of the park over there. <laughs> I don't find all that helpful. But we do keep tons of it just in case we ever uh, do get bit by one of these snakes.
is the bald eagle. They say they got shot, so it's missing one of its wings. It was found near Grand Island, Nebraska. When he was found, he was emaciated and near death. Didn't one of the handlers say that he had a, a wing amputated? Yeah. And a couple more up front there. 
Now, notice that those guys do roll their heads off to the side there to pick up pieces of chicken. This is because their faces are too long and their necks are too short for them to reach straight out in front where they can pick up those pieces of chicken. As well as they uh, can't necessarily see it on the ground. <laughs> I hope someone got that one on video. That was interesting. So, <laughs> like I was saying, they cannot necessarily see it on the ground right here, so they do roll off to the side looking for those pieces of chicken. There you go. Now, notice this. think about reptile gardens? Um, it was pretty cool actually, better than I thought it was going to be. I, th um, it was, I thought it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. You thought it was a, better, a lot better than you thought it was going to be? Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, yeah, it was um, very, um, very good. I mean, I love the alligator show. Uh, the handler, he was really, he was really good. Very entertaining. Um, Did you I like, like him in the snake show? No. I thought he was well, entertaining in the He was okay show. in the snake show, but I didn't like the snakes. What was his name, Trey? I don't, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. But the shows were really good. Um, the bird show was good. And, and just their exhibits and their flowers. Oh my gosh. Their, their, their gardens are gorgeous. Yeah, they are. So it, it was really, I, I really am very pleased we went. Yeah. So that's another. Um, VIP. VIP. Another free uh, VIP visit. Yeah. I don't even remember how much it was to go in. I don't know, but I'll I'll make sure I put it on the video. I'll make sure I um, put it in the. Or I'll put it there somewhere. Okay. <laughs> After leaving Reptile Gardens, right up the road is the Strato Bowl Rim Trail. Uh, looks like it's relatively easy little trail but it's supposed to have some really nice views of the Strata Bowl so we're on to check that one out today